welcome back to the Tarot Cottage. My name is Amy. I'm back today with a pick a card reading for you. Um, a big welcome back to my returning subscribers. Thank you guys so much for your friendship. Thank you for being here and supporting me and for supporting each other as well in the comment section. Um, you guys are amazing. And if you have found yourself here for the very first time, we just want to welcome you to this space. P please join us, pull up a chair, grab yourself some snacks a cup of tea and we'll have a little chat because we are all friends when we gather here at my table um so today's pick a card reading we're looking at what's coming next in love so a uh, reading potentially if you're single or hoping to make changes in your situation so what's coming up in love who's coming forward what changes are coming in your love life um, i do have three piles for you to choose from today pile number one here with the muse tarot and the purple flower i know it sort of looks doesn't really do the the color very much just as blue purple whatever you see <laughs> um pile number two here with the green flower and pile number three with the pink flower so whichever pile or piles are calling out to you there may be a message waiting for you today um, my timestamps are listed below in the description description box and I'm going to jump right into pile number one again for the singles what is coming in love who's coming forward pile number one hello everybody in pile number one you were drawn to the purpley blue flower and to this muse tarot right here and this is your reading what is next in love who's coming forward what is coming in love for you um, for the singles out there what is next moving into the fall so what is next in love who's coming forward for pile number one please spirit we've got an explosion we're going to put some of those back what is next in love please Some of these decks are so big, I have a hard time getting my hands around them. So we have the strength cards. You could be a beautiful Leo um, or perhaps dealing with a Leo, or maybe you've had to overcome a lot in the past when it comes to love. Um, so maybe you have a little bit of a, your back up a little bit. You're a little hesitant <laughs> about what could come in for you. Uh, let's keep going. Spirit, what's next in love? Thank you so much. We have the beautiful magician. What is next in love for pile one, please? We have, ooh, the Knight of Pentacles coming out with the Eight of Pentacles. This is somebody who is, um, they work hard. <laughs> they have a lot of focus, a lot of drive, and it's like they're willing to put in the work. They could definitely be a Leo or an Aries or a Sagittarius. They could be a, a, a strong fire sign. They could also be somebody who is very much grounded on, in an earth type of um, energy as well. What is next in love, please? We have the Six of Wands. I apologize for my street noise. Um, we also have the Ace of Swords. Back of the deck is the Ace of Cups. So we have a new emotional beginning coming in for you. And there are these secondary messages that are floating through. I have messages coming in about the person, but I also have messages coming in about where you're coming from. And it feels like an exhausted place. <laughs> it feels like, you know, we're tired. Um, maybe we're healing from something um, that really hurt us in the past when it comes to love. And it just feels like you are really stepping bravely um, into these new opportunities. It's like you're, you're, you're going to put the effort into this situation because you are looking for this emotional new start. Um, but there are some beautiful messages about the person that's coming forward for you, group one. And I'm sort of excited for you because this person is driven. This person is driven. They've got goals and they're willing to put in all of the hard work that they have to put in. They could be somebody who is an entrepreneur or run their own type of business because I see them in charge of things. Um, and this is, Spirit says that this um, the next relationship is actually a beautiful opportunity to go towards something profound that could hold a lot of lessons for you. It could be a gateway to happiness celebration. Can we clarify the magician, please? What is next in love for group one? Seven of cups. The 10 of wands. 
So Spirit really says, you know, in life we have options. <laughs> in life we have options when we are faced with opportunity. We can let the past truly hold us back from an opportunity that could, if, you know, we put the effort in, could really amount to a lot. Or we um, have the option of staying sort of stuck in the past. And we do have the Five of Cups here, and they are saying that there is some emotional baggage that you may be carrying forward into this next connection. Um, but confidence is truly your key to success and staying focused and putting in the necessary effort. And I feel like this person too is like a really patient type of person. They're very patient. They're willing to work with you. <laughs> They're willing to work with the baggage that you feel like you carry into new relationships. They really want to show you that not everybody is painted in the same light. And, um, this is somebody who's dedicated to the cause. We have the seven of swords. Back of the deck is the Four of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles. So the Four of Cups sort of represents perhaps where you're coming from um, moving into this new opportunity because the Four of Cups can talk about how if we're looking into the past a lot, maybe we don't see an opportunity that's dangling right in front of us. And this could be something very, very valuable for us. Uh, this Nine of Pentacles is talking about the ability to move forward, to ascend, and to put yourself truly in a position that you're going to look back and be like, wow, I'm really happy to be sitting here. I'm really, you know, happy that we um, took this shot and put in the necessary effort and, and risked and you know, we had, I saw the fool as well, leaping into new opportunities, even though we're fearful, because spirit says that this is um, a connection that's coming in for you that's going to bring in a lot of clarity for you, and it's going to allow you to see things from a more clear perspective, um, even when it comes to the past, even things that you're carrying with you from past relationships, it's like this connection allows you to see everything in a new light at the end of the day. And that's a beautiful, beautiful gift from spirit. Um, spirit says even for some of you that you could even have multiple options coming in at this time, but there is one particular option that is really, if you allow it to flow naturally, if you don't resist it, because you may be a little bit you know, <laughs> you may be a little bit tempted to resist it because you don't want to be put through any more BS in your life. Um, but if you're willing to sort of go with the flow and put the necessary effort in right along with this person, because I feel like they are dedicated to that, um, you are have the capacity, you have the opportunity to create a lot for yourself, to create a lot of victory and success for yourself. What is coming in? love what is next in love for the singles please pile number one we have free yourself it's time to take back control of your life free yourself from any perceived restraints that hold you back including things from the past um it's like something holds you prisoner and now we have to really tame these fears inside of us tame our insecurities um to recognize this valuable opportunity i feel like you're going to start talking to this person first um, perhaps potentially online as well. And again, I feel like you could be talking to multiple people at the time when this really great opportunity shows up. It's time to stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking will bring you romance. And we have it is safe for you to love. Open your heart and give and receive the highest energy of all. This person is dependable. That's what spirit really wants to... Um, drive home for you <laughs> is that this person um you can feel safe in opening up to them you can feel safe because they have a, a certain amount of dependability there's confidence you can put in them and i feel like they are the type too that they are optimistic in general they're an optimistic person they have a lot of focus perhaps more focus than you have experienced yet in your life so they have a lot of focus they're very driven in their career um and that that sort of bleeds into every area of their life that confidence that focus we have the deer oh i love it and the swan coming out for you and we have the mouse at the back of the deck both of these characters these beautiful animals are so timid when it comes to going for things that they want and even the mouse you know runs away at the first sign of danger but look at what spirit says that a deep reflection and going with the flow um, has the opportunity to produce for some of you. And I can't say that for everyone because I am dealing with collective energy. But for some of you, this could be your counterpart. This could be somebody that can really give you a very um, unique experience when it comes to love. 
it's like you know swans mate for life this could be it for some of you so that's what spirit really wants to say who is coming forward in love please for pile number one what's next in love for pile one we have the reflection, illusion, self-examination, and distortion. And that's exactly what Spirit was showing with the reflective swan as well. Not only does the swan, you know, the two swans really represent sometimes soulmate energy or that deep connection, uh, but it also represents this reflection period that this new connection is going to afford you. You're going to see things through a different light, completely different light, and see how distorted these... Um, Things that were holding you back, these emotions that were holding you back in the past, you're going to see how distorted that was on the other side of things. It's kind of like that song, Hello from the Other Side. It's like you're going to see everything from a completely different light. We have remembrance, resurfacing of past feelings and emotions. Uh, there's something about this next relationship that's going to allow you uh, the opportunity to do a little bit of shadow work. Again, it's going to kind of force you out of your comfort zones a little bit because this person, I don't feel like, they're so steadfast, they're patient, and they're willing to work with you. Like they're gonna, they're going to help you navigate these highs and lows. And I feel like they're the type of person that's very flexible with you as well. Lots of entrepreneurial vibes here from this person. Who is this person coming forward? What is next in love? What is next in love, please, for pile number one? If what do you even see in me? And that may be the mentality you have going into this because you need to free yourself from negative self ideas. This beautiful unicorn representing how unique and special and rare you actually are, but you may not see yourself um, in that light. And we have, you've taught me so much, and that's exactly what spirit says. This next connection is going to help you open your eyes to truths within yourself. Um, truths. There's the truth, and then there's a truth. So spirit's gonna, this person's gonna help you to see the truth. Um, we have here. I shouldn't have doubted my intuition. Shouldn't have doubted my intuition because <laughs> I feel like you could be in a place where no matter who pops in, uh, it's like you you could maybe fear it <laughs> right away. Maybe there's a sense. Um, that you fear opportunities right away because you expect negative outcomes. We have, I was the happiest I've ever been. And that's a beautiful thing. That's like the 10 of cups here. Uh, and then we have the queen of swords. I can't feel your love anymore. Um, and that's what spirit's really saying about this next connection is that you, you have the opportunity to be really, really happy in this next connection. And with this queen at the back of the deck, it's this almost, I'm getting, I know it's supposed to be queen of cups, but I'm getting queen of swords vibes. It's like you finally cut off your feelings for something in the past that you've been holding on to. What's next in love? Who is coming? For pile one, please. For singles. We have the victim. Again, it was coming out in the reversal, which I like to see in the reversal. We also have, oh, we've got so much going on. And destiny too. I love that. Um, a balance is going to be restored um, with this new opportunity. And there's a sense of you recognizing uh, that you are not stuck in your current state mentally when it comes to past pains and things that have hurt you in the past. You are the key to your own recovery. And you realize that you could be headed towards something even better than what you feel like you've left behind. The destiny is about this connection. You could be very destined. There could be a lot in store for you with this connection. Like I said, for some of you, I have these vibes of permanency. So this could be the person that, you know, again, swans mate for life. So <laughs> take that as it resonates. Get one of these. What is next in love for pile number one, please? Whoops. You have the rabbit. So spirit's asking you to take a leap. I don't even know where to put this. They're asking you to take a leap of faith here. The rabbit, again, very kind of nervous creature, but a very playful creature, very curious creature. And the rabbit is about adventure. It's sort of like the knight of wands or page of wands feeling. Uh, we have the moon and a lot of moon imagery for you here. Even starting out with the strength card, the moon in that strength card. 
Uh, you're facing fears. <laughs> you're stepping into the unknown. Uh, they're going to have some sort of um, even spiritual downloads potentially about new offers coming in. And, and some of you may resist those, that intuition coming in from spirit. And that's the other message coming from your guides is that they are talking to you, trying to give you their, your their opinions of some of these options because spirit says some of you are talking to multiple people online just sort of casually um, and there's one choice one option coming in that is the key to you moving forward beautiful changes coming in beautiful opportunities for you pile one let's get a charm bowl for you if you're new to the channel i do end each pile with a charm cast additional advice from spirit in the bowl please Oh, page of pentacles, the world and the world is on its side. And we have the 10 of wands because we had the 10 of wands too. You could be a fire sign or you could just be carrying a lot of weight from the past, a lot of burdens on your shoulders and you don't see where the future holds. So you could be very frustrated. Um, the world is not reverse. It's not upright. And it's because spirit really communicates to me that they're never going to force you into these options. They will present them. They will be presented and then it's up to you. You have free will to choose or to not, you know, embark upon certain opportunities. They are saying though that you have a valuable opportunity that could lead to so much, could lead to so much and so many new beginnings. Um, and that's coming up for you. So it's very, very exciting. You can't always see the forest through the trees. But the spirit wants you to know that they can see the outcome before you do, that they can see um, the path that you're treading um, and they, they are encouraging you to leap. But they will walk beside you no matter what you decide to do. Very important for you to understand. What is in the bowl today? Let's start with letters. We have the letter F and the letter P today. We also have the big flat empress shell with a little C star on it. Um, that's a symbol for someone who okay, could be a parent, um, but it's also a symbol of um, healing ourself from a self limiting ideology. We have two swords here. It could both be air signs. This one kind of looks like it has a cat on it. Oh, they both look like they have sort of cats on them. Big wrench. And we also have a triangle. You could have been dealing with a third party situation in the past that really derailed you and brought in a lot of pain. Um, but that pain is also going to help bring you a lot of clarity too. We do have the Jack of Swords or Jack of Spades here, which is the Knight of Swords. And we have the Five of Swords as well. So the Five of Swords is about conflict and, res and, and outcomes that don't seem favorable for us. And it could be that we need to move away from from the conflict of the past. This Knight of Swords wants to charge forward with honesty, with truth, with justice, um, but he doesn't always know what the consequences are. So sometimes he hesitates. All right, group number one, that's what I have for you today. I hope that it resonated. If it did, I would love to hear your story in the comment section. Um, please subscribe to the channel and um, hit your notification bell, hit your like button. It helps me to bring you more content. And if you do, please drop me a comment below because I offer a chance to win a free monthly read here on the Tarot Cottage and also on my Instagram account, which is below as well. And you can check out my Etsy account for a personal reading if you feel called to. The link is below. Um, but I hope that you come back here to the Tarot Cottage for another day. And I hope that you have a beautiful day. Take care. Hello, everybody. In pile number two, you are drawn to this green flower um, or perhaps um, to this deck here. And this is your reading uh, for singles. What's next in love? You don't have to be single if you, maybe you want a big shift in your life. Um, but for many, you may be single. So what is next to love? Who's coming forward for you? I see the daughter of wands, the page of wands could be a fire sign. And I've seen the tower a lot as I'm shifting through as well. So it could be that you're in the midst of a lot of big permanent change right now in your life. But we will see how that correlates. What is next in love for pile number two? Please, Spirit, what do you see coming forward? Their next relationship. What is next in love for pile number two? Woo! Woo -hoo. For some of you, I do feel like, and I am dealing with collective energy, so obviously I have to um, respect that, that there's a lot of different energies floating out. 
floating around, floating out there in the etherol. Um, and I may not even keep these as a, a first bunch of, of cards, but Spirit says that there could be some of you who are currently you know, making your way away from something profound. So you could be sort of asking what's coming next for you after you make this leap because you already know what you want to do. You may not have executed that yet, but you already know what you want to do. <laughs> and it may be to remove yourself from a current situation. So take that as it resonates, if that resonates with you. Um, but what is next in love for pile number two, please, Spirit? Who's coming forward? What is next in love? We have the world that's a powerful place to begin the world is waiting for you oh my goodness the ch the chariot coming out with the high priestess what is next in love please Ace of Pentacles. So you definitely have some opportunities ahead of you, pile number two. You definitely have some opportunities. And I feel like you are like ready for change. Like you are geared for change. You want it. Hungry for it even. That chariot is about a choice that you've decided upon. It. It's like you, maybe you're, you're keeping your cards to yourself. Um, maybe you are, you know, not letting other people know about these changes, but you're definitely ready for change yeah i just saw the eight of cups again walking away from something potentially to go towards something else or go to even towards freedom it feels like freedom is what it feels like what's next in love for pile one please or pile two please spirit we have the ten of cups on the reverse and that's exactly what I mean when I say I feel like you're walking away from something. <laughs> you're walking away from something that has not offered you that Ten of Cups. Um, you're going towards your dreams here. And you know what Spirit says is that you're like going to hit the mark. You're going to hit the mark. Maybe you were indecisive in the past. I saw the Two of Swords. Uh, but it's like you recognize now that maybe you didn't hit that bullseye in the past. And so now you're heading out. You're heading out into the big blue to see what's next for you. Can we clarify the world, please? What's next in love? The strength, yes. Leo energy. Cancer energy, very strong as well. Three of wands. You're nervous about it. Four of wands. We have the nine of swords coming out. You're nervous about this, this new opportunity. <laughs> And I'm going to delve into that Ace of Pentacles in a moment because I do feel like that is an opportunity to start something. It may start small, but it has the capacity to grow. Here's the King of Pentacles. Um, for some of you, and again, dealing with collective energy, um, I feel like there could be children involved. I feel like there is a father figure here that you may be separating yourself from. We have the King of Wands. You have a fire sign potentially coming in for you. You yourself could actually be a fire sign. You don't have to be, but you could be. Um, and I do feel like there is a fire sign coming in. I'm really getting strong Sagittarius vibes, but they could be, you know, an Aries. And they may just represent, you know, what they're all about. Here we also have the King of Swords. Um, and similar vibes as far as Pile 1, because I said they could run their own business. And I feel like this person as well. I feel like there's a lot more people out there that are realizing they can work from home. And I feel like this person um, is very much self-sufficient in that way. This person seems like a straight shooter. And I almost feel like they could be a little bit older than you are at this time right now. Um, but they're very focused, very driven. And Spirit says it has the capacity here to really give you a lot of emotional fulfillment that you've been lacking in other experiences um, in your past. Uh, I feel like you are nervous moving out into the world, though, moving out into new opportunities. And I feel like it's it maybe even goes beyond nerves. <laughs> this particular Nine of Swords is pretty dark. Um, it's like pretty twisted. Maybe you're feeling very um, twisted up inside. You don't know. You're feeling really out of a comfort zone is what it feels like. You're standing on the right on the outside of a comfort zone. And sometimes when we're standing in that spot, it doesn't take much to spook us back, to spook us back and to kind of put off what we know inside, deep inside that we've been wanting. Um, for some of you, this person coming forward is all, already so aware of you 
and they are either holding their feelings for you inside um, or there's some sort of secrecy going on and then take that as it resonates to your situation but somebody's holding back information about this offer coming in um, and it feels like to be honest that this offer for some of you is already on the table right now and that's why you're sort of nervous about the execution of this offer we have the lovers here at the nine of pentacles and there's a real choice to be made although i do feel like you've already made this choice emotionally even if it isn't to go towards a specific offer i feel like you have made the choice to move forward in life in general the lovers ruled by gemini um, it's like you're trying to make a very logical decision um, i also feel like the person coming in for you though is a very logical person very smart person too and I feel like the two of you are very well matched in that way um, there is a concern though about position and reputation coming from someone in the connection so to take that as it resonates um, we also have the ten of pentacles and three of cups um, this person could have started out as a friend like I said I feel like the two of you already know each other in some way um, they could have started out as a friend um, and there could be a, as I said, there could be a family or children involved, but that won't resonate with every person. What is next in love for you, Pile? Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type or expectations. It's like you never expected your life to go this, this way. You didn't expect any of this to happen potentially. Um, yeah. Yeah. That's what I, I want to say. You never expected any of this to happen. For some of you, I feel like you already felt like you had met your counterpart before in life. And you have been, you know, time and experience has taught you, taught you something different. You have, yes, this is your soulmate. And what's interesting is that the lovers is a very strong card, even with the four of wands of connection, of a, a connection that defies explanation at times. A lot of attraction too. You attract more romantic love by enjoying this moment fully, but I feel like there's a lot of um, sexual chemistry with you and this person that didn't exist in past connections either. Spirit says that this opportunity, although you're nervous about it, has the capa capacity to give you so much happiness and reasons to celebrate as well. What's next in love for pile number two, please? We have here apprehension. You're moving out into the world with doubt and with fear. We see that fear. It's a palpable fear here with the nine of swords, but spirit saying that this is valuable. This is a, a good opportunity for you. But I feel like there's a lot at, st at stake for you. Sacred Earth Mother, a message of love from your guides and angels. It's almost, again, looks like a gateway, like a pathway, like follow the orbs <laughs> to the desires of your heart. We have Moonlight Goddess, repressed emotions, healing, and reflection. You may have had this experience of having to repress how you truly feel in past relationships. And this is an opportunity to not experience that again, to have a relationship that is very much balanced with the lovers as well, like well matched on the same level intellectually. And as far as goal oriented, I feel like this person has goals and they are very forward facing. Whereas where you're coming from, may, there just may be a lot of stagnation there. What's coming next in love, please? Pile number two. Who's coming for pile two, please, Spirit? Who's coming for pile number two? It says, have I lost everything? Your word, and that's the Knight of Swords again. And I just saw I'm addicted to you too. So I'm going to put that in because I feel like there could be already, again, an opportunity on the table for you. And you're wondering if that's going to kind of pan out. Um... You're moving away from something potentially, but that's what spirit wants you to understand is that you have not lost everything. I meant what I said. I meant what I said. I feel like you are determined to sort of make change. Um, and I feel like too, that this person is a, is a dependable type of personality too. Like they're very honest. They're very, you know, very open and direct about how they feel. It's like I meant what I said. I have plans in place and I'm going to execute them. And that's what this person is really all about. They're driven. Who is coming next in love, please? And you're on a little bit on the fence. We have think before you act. I also see the maybe card coming out for you as well. Um, we have, if I asked you to stay, would you leave? 
Um, I can't lie and say that there aren't undertones of, and it's again, not for everyone, but there aren't undertones for someone who's leaving a situation for another opportunity, a specific person. So leaving something behind to start over somewhere else. So please take that as it resonates to your situation. What is next in love, please? Their next relationship. Going forward. Butterfly. And the firefly. You know what I'm getting? We also have the crow. Look how the crow is standing on that world. And the crow can, you know, the crow has vocal capabilities, kind of like a parrot in some ways, that they can make vocalizations. They can speak their truth. They're very intelligent as well. And I feel like there's been a lot inside of you that you have suppressed in past relationships. And there's like this little light that you've never let go out. And there's a transformation. I feel like you've changed a lot over the past couple of years or maybe even the last year that there have been some huge things that have happened inside of you that have caused things to be shaky um, because you're being forced out of comfort zones that haven't served your growth. And so there's a huge transformation that's happening within you that now you're executing. And it, it's taking shape in your relationships at this time. And part of that transformation is shedding an old version of yourself, shedding an old version so that you can truly soar, something that potentially has been holding you and making you earthbound. Um, you're letting that go because you're, you're starting small and you're taking off on some new adventure. Uh, and there's, there's fear in that. You know, there is fear in that. Maybe you don't feel capable, but the butterfly can't see how beautiful it is. The butterfly can't see its own wings, but it, it shines anyway. It doesn't <laughs> stop it, you know? So that's what Spirit really wants you to know. What is next in love, please? Who's coming forward in love? We have the fantasy card, and it came out um, in a reversal position. I don't even often read these in, in the reversal unless Spirit calls me to, and I feel called to today here. Um, we even have the noose in reverse on the back of the deck. So Emily Bronte was a beautiful writer who wrote Wuthering Heights and all of these wonderful, spooky, um, beautiful romance um, fictional stories. But she never experienced that type of romance in her own life. She kind of lived a fantasy world. And, and in the reversal, this card really talks about, you know, refusing to do that, refusing to live in a fantasy world, refusing to self-sabotage, you know, allowing myself this, the freedom to understand when I have the power to change things and the courage to change the things that I want to change. The noose is really reminiscent of the hanged man um, of self-sabotage sometimes, but in the reversal, again, the opposite is true. It's like we have the power to change our situation, even if we don't often, um, you know, 95% of us will not wield that power, but you're the 5%. <laughs> you are the 5% pile number two. Let's get a charm bowl for you. In the charm bowl, what is next in love? What else can you add? Who is this person? What can you add about this person in the bowl, please, spirit? Ten of cups, again, reversed. Page of swords, reversed. Um, and the Empress. So there definitely could be children involved here. Ten of Cups reversed does speak of a separation potentially in a, of a family unit. Um, but it also just shows you stepping away from something that is not emotionally fulfilling you. Maybe there are no children. Maybe there is no family unit. But you're walking away from things and situations that are not serving you. And that are not giving you that, that fulfillment. But the Nine of Cups that we saw is truly Spirit saying that you're going to get the desires that you're looking for. You're going to get your heart's wishes if you execute a practical plan towards those goals and not doubt the intuition that spirit is trying to download upon you oops see if i can't get those to stay up okay let's take a look here we have the sun you could be a leo i choose strength chanel number five so the fifth of any month could be significant. May could be significant to you. We have the tangled heart. We have a chain, so you could feel chained to something. Capricorn energy. We have the yin yang. We have but. I don't like the word but because I feel like there's caveats to the word but. It's like I love you but, I'm sorry but. We have the letter F. We have the cat claiming our independence. We have the ohm symbol. This is something you have um, 
you have um, meditated about or prayed about. We have the infant Jesus of Prague. It could be a Catholic connection or there could be children as well. We have the pineapple homecomings and reunions with friends potentially. We have a cactus that's in bloom. So something that has been blooming despite a disconnect. All right, group number two, that's what I have for you today. I hope that it resonated. And if it did, please um, leave me a comment in the comment section below and subscribe to my channel. Um, if you leave me a comment and subscribe, I can enter you in for a chance to win a free reading with me. Um, you can also check out my Instagram account where I offer a chance to win a free mini read. And that post is going up like today or tomorrow. Um, so keep checking back. Actually, I'll probably put on a post on the community tab when I do that. Uh, but you can check out my Etsy account as well for a personal reading. Um, if you go there and it's empty, it just means I have sold out for the previous day, but I do update the shop daily. So keep checking back. Um, but I hope that you come back here for another day at the Tarot Cottage and I hope that you have a beautiful day. Take care. Hello everybody in pile number three, you were drawn to the red flower. I don't even know where to put it because it's kind of big. Um, and this is your reading for singles. Um, no matter what your situation, what is next in love? Who's coming forward? Singles, what is next in love, please, spirit? Who's coming forward for pile number three? Everyone drawn to the pink flower, to the wildwood tarot. Who is coming forward for pile number three? What is next in love for pile number three? We have here the archer, the uh, chariot card here, cancer energy. We have the six of wands, abundance. We have the high priestess. Who's next in love? Who's coming forward? What is coming? We have the Two of Pentacles challenge. We have the Emperor, the Green Man. Back of the deck is the Four of Wands celebration. Um, can we clarify the Archer, please, Spirit? What is next in love? What's coming in love for pile number three? We have here the guardian, the devil, knight of swords coming out with the page of pentacles. So I don't know if, know if I'm flashing those too fast at you. Page of pentacles. What's next in love, please? We have the wheel of fortune. We have here the Page of Wands. And we have here the Fool. Back of the deck is the Seven of Wands Clearance. And we have the Six of Cups Reunion. Oh my goodness. Pile three, I have such an uh, interesting message coming in. First of all, there's some uh, multiple messages coming in. And I'm kind of excited about all of them, if I'm honest, because... Um, and I feel like my face is heating up. Like I feel a little bit flushed. I feel kind of, <laughs> when it rains, it pours for you pile three, because spirit says you have like options coming in for you in love. And one of these options is a, is a really great option. And this, one of these options is actually somebody potentially from your past. It could be the past in this lifetime. Um, it could be a friend from your past, or it could be from a, a past lifetime coming in, but it's, it's someone who could divide who could represent your divine counterpart. Um, if you subscribe to that idea, it's a very personalized ideology, but it's somebody who could be um, from a past life, somebody who has a very strong connection to you intrinsically because we have the emperor here and there's this call to sort of leap, leap and take advantage of the opportunities here and clearing away all the other options that are being presented to you. And that's why the seven of wands is here because it shows a determination. <laughs> it shows that you make a choice amidst all of these options and you go driving towards that choice. You clear away all the other obstacles. Um, and look at the beautiful abundance and the ace of pentacles, the foundation of life. 
And I feel like that's important. I feel like this is really important because I feel like this next opportunity or the one that you just, you choose <laughs> when you clear away all the other obstacles, I feel like it has the capacity to grow into something profound for you. Something very, very profound for you because this is just the start is what spirit says. This is just the beginning. Um, this person coming in could definitely be a fire sign. There's the King of Wands getting very strong Sagittarius vibes. Um, and here, even extending that message, is the Page of Wands. And it could be that, you know, the way that you remember this person is in a very youthful type of way. Very focused, very driven, very flirty. They have evolved. They're someone from your past. <laughs> they have evolved. They have matured. And I feel like they are... They have a lot to offer now is what spirit is really expressing they have a lot to offer now but it's like i don't know if you have insecurities in the past but spirit says that it's almost kind of silly for you to have insecurities because you have so many people coming forward that are going to be interested in you and it's like you have to you have to whittle down the offers. You have to whittle down the opportunities. The Knight of Swords here is talking about movement and change. And maybe you weren't sort of expecting um, all of these opportunities to sort of show up at once. Because here, even with the Wheel of Fortune, it's like sudden turn of events that just happens in your favor. It's like abundance, abundance. Your higher self seen it coming. <laughs> your higher self seen it coming because your higher self sees your value, sees how much sees you in a light that other people will more likely see you in and not in the light that you see yourself because you struggle with that I feel like you struggle with seeing who you are in your truth you don't see yourself the way that you are valued in spirit um, but yes lot, lots of opportunities coming in for you multiple people coming forward you're going to be feeling very abundant <laughs> And amidst these, all of these wonderful, exciting offers, and I almost got the sense of like bucks rutting, you know, if you see videos of those deer in the field where they're just rutting, they're banging their heads together, literally, um, that's sort of why I got, what I got, sort of uh, juggling of these opportunities and feeling really excited about them. But amidst these opportunities is this person, this person coming back around um, from your past. And I feel like you can see the value in them right away. Like they have evolved. Um, they definitely have matured in a, a physical way. In a very, I feel like they're very good looking or, you know, they have a lot to offer right now in that vein. Um, that makes you really want to clear away all the other sort of offers that are in front of you. Because you're like, I don't want, even though, you know, it's raining, it's pouring, and maybe you want to see what could be on the other side of some of these opportunities. There's something about this from the past that you just can't shake. And again, if you haven't met this person yet in this lifetime, there's an intrinsic recognition. It's like you're going to feel something inside of yourself when it comes to this person. But I do honestly feel that it could be from this actual lifetime. Like you knew them when they were younger and now they've matured, they've changed, they've grown. And there's going to be a revisit. Spirit says it is your choice though. It is 100% your choice and they will never force or change any, or sorry, they will never force a decision upon you and they'll walk with you no matter what you choose. Um, but they see you, they say you may leap with this person from your past. What's next in love for pile number three, please. It's time to let go of control issues and allow the situation to unfold naturally. Let go. The devil talks about making a decision with the archer away from our, our fears, away from things that hold us back. And many times, you know, the devil does represent actual addictions that we find ourselves addicted to and if we are addicted to physical things in this life no matter what those are we know what they are and we know if we need to release ourselves from them um, but it sometimes just talks about our feelings about ourselves and the lack that we see there past life relationship you've known each other before coming in for you flirt so many it says extend your light heart hearted energy to others and that's what i mean like a lot of flirtation coming in in your future pile three um, a lot of, again, a bit busy because you're juggling all of these opportunities. We have peace, dissolving unwanted or disturbing thoughts, feelings of lack within yourself. That's what all of this change brings in for you, truly. And that's part of the clearance of what it's doing for you. Instead of seeing obstacles in your way, all of this newfound confidence is going to allow you the ability to foresee your, uh, 
to be able to push through the determination comes out inside of you you feel more powerful winter's end regeneration rebirth and positive outcome so all of this is going to be transpiring potentially up into winter so take that as it resonates um, but what it's offering is a rebirth and it's going to it's going to result in positive outcomes so spirit just wants you to sort of enjoy the ride go with the flow harmony power self-confidence and productivity and i almost feel like these cards offer sort of like a beautiful pathway it's like power equals self-confidence equals productivity in life in love You have the fox. You have the fox. Somebody really intelligent. The fox is very intelligent. I don't like just seeing uh, animal and saying, well, it's sneaky, sneakiness. I don't see that with the fox. We have the peacock. It's a little bit in the reverse. Uh, you, This peacock represents your energy, I feel, very strongly, and with the confidence that you feel about yourself, but it's also the confidence of some of these people coming forward, particularly this divine masculine, because they're going to come in with a... I feel like they do have confidence, but when it comes to you, that wanes a little bit. So they may be feigning a little bit of confidence um, when it comes to you. Who's coming forward? What's next in love for pile number three, please? Love is the answer. Love is the answer. And this next connection, although I, like I said, many connections are coming forward for you. Lots of options for you to weave through. Um, but one of them, um, one of them has the capability to really lead to so much more. Um, we have, I'm, I'm too afraid to talk to you. So this person coming forward, um, they are, they do feel like they are someone from your past. Um, and they were intimidated by you in the past, but that confidence has grown. Uh, we also have the I'm sorry in the reversal coming out. So somebody who maybe is sorry for not acting in the past towards you. Again, they have grown in that confidence or in the very least, they're faking it till they make it <laughs> at this point with this shot that they're shooting for or shooting with you. Because there's a lot next out. There is a lot at stake. We have reach out. Back of the deck says, I'm too afraid to talk. So somebody shy, potentially. Somebody from your past who may have been very shy and who did hide their feelings for you in the past as well. They could have been a friend as well with the Six of Cups. Um, that card often speaks to friendship for me. What is next in love for pile number three, please? We have Instinct. Yep, this is somebody who's taking a big risk <laughs> by reaching out to you um, because they do feel like maybe it's been a long time or, you know, maybe they don't even know your situation at this point, but they're taking a big risk and it's somebody who now they did feel like in the past they may have worn masks with you or they, they felt like they had to shift who they were. It was their insecurities, though, that really got the better of them. Who is coming forward in love, please? Of an, at an end pass again the moon is a big theme here for you pile three the moon scorpio energy very very um big theme here because it's that we have complacency at the back of the deck and there's a sense with this person that they either can act now or like forever hold their peace type of energy they're at this impasse where they feel like they have to face their fears and reach out because they're like no time will get any better or more opportune or more perfect than this opportunity and so if what am I waiting for type of energy is coming in, it doesn't mean that they aren't nervous or they aren't insecure. And like I said, they're, they could feel even more insecure because I feel like there's going to be other opportunities for you, other options um, showing themselves as well. What is next in love? Who is coming forward for the singles, please? We have bravery, joy, hard joke, bravery. <laughs> um, the bravery card is like the strength card. 
not about not being scared because this person is very, very scared, but it's about doing something afraid. It's about taming the fears inside of us um, and facing, facing the firing squad, so to speak, being determined towards change. This person is. We have the spider. The spider reminds us that we weave our own destiny. Perhaps this person is an air sign. Um, and it's like they're, they're tired too. We have the fate. It's in the reverse on the back of the deck. And it's like I'm tired of waiting for fate to bring us together. It's like I actually have to be fate. <laughs> I have to um, play the part of God in this situation. And I have to make something happen. This, this person feels very focused to make something happen and to at least have a foundation set with you. So lots of options coming in for you, group number three, um, with one particular option that may clear the path for um, a lot of happiness for you. If you choose that path, spirit will not force your choices upon you. Let's get a charm bowl. What else can you tell me about this person in the bowl, please, spirit? What's next in love for pile number three? We have Justice Libra energy, the Chariot Cancer energy, and the Two of Pentacles. So, again, you know what? It's not a surprise to Spirit that you're going to have many options here because Spirit says that's justified because of who you are. Um, you could be a Libra. They could be a Libra coming in as well. But more importantly, it's about sort of... <laughs> The justice that prevails because all of this is happening. It's like maybe you've waited a while. Maybe you've been through the ringer in love in the past. And now finally it's like your ship comes in. Uh, there is a sense of juggling. There is a sense of being really kind of busy <laughs> with the offers that are on the table. And then you have to make a decision. Making a decision. Particularly perhaps between two different people. Um, one of which is this person from your past. Um, so take that as it resonates. But the chariot talks about making that choice and then going towards that decision with drive and determination to get through any obstacle, clearing away all the other um, obstacles out of the way. And we have the chain, the chain count pile, whoops, pile two as well fix my little geode here we have the T and the A and the P we have tap could be um, some hookups for some for some of you um, we have the horseshoe with the star it's like um, a wish it's like a hopeful wish somebody's bringing forward and shooting their shot we have the sword of truth and justice we also have the hatchet Potentially um, separating yourself from negative attachments that are holding you back or anything, any obstacle that's going to hold you back from the decision that you make. Um, we have here um, a chain. And we also have how I, how I feel about you makes my heart long to be free. We also have the big wrench as well. We have a starfish and the DNA helix. Sometimes I associate that with children, so take that as it resonates. We also have the pine cone. So the pine cone is a symbol of potential, and the pine cone has to be planted at the right time in the right conditions in order to thrive. All right, group number three, that's what I have for you today. I hope that it resonated. Um, if it did, I would love to hear your story in the comment section. I would love for you to subscribe to this channel and join our beautiful family here please hit your like button and your notification bell. It truly helps me to bring you more content. And if you do, be sure to drop me a comment below so that I can enter you in for a chance to win a free reading with me. Um, I also offer a chance to win a free mini read over on Instagram on a monthly basis. Um, and I will be making that announcement on the community tab in a day or so when I post that link. Um, also, I do personal readings as well through Etsy and you can check out my account below that link is below as well but I hope that you come back here and visit me on another day at the Tarot Cottage and I hope that you have a beautiful day take care